Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about the website user testing and reviewing my experience with it for the last few months. We will also be going over possibilities of earning on this website and I'll be giving some tips on getting the best results as well as revealing my own success. So let's get right into the video. Firstly, what is user testing? User testing says real-time feedback from real customers wherever you work. But those real customers? They're us. Big companies sign up to user testing and pay a large sum of money to have their test exposed to us, the testers, and get a good review and idea of what they should change or add or remove to their website application to improve them. Some companies pay to find out how long you spend on specific games, but doesn't matter what the goal is, we get paid to test. Some large companies which have used user testing include eBay, Facebook, Ancestry.com, Walmart, Kmart, and so on. When signing up to user testing, you will first have to click on the little button, become a tester, or just click the link in the description. You will soon be prompted to input some personal details, such as employment status, where you're employed, age, gender, household income, web expertise, and so on. This signing up process definitely will take you some time, so make sure you have an hour or so to complete all this, including your first test. After you have done this, you must wait for tests to flood your available tests tab right here. You must try to qualify for one of them. Qualifying for tests is not easy, and most of the time you'll be greeted with this message of an unsuccessful qualification. But once in a while, you'll be greeted with a success message, and the first time this happens, that will be your first test, which will then be reviewed by admins to decide whether you are capable of the job. To qualify, you are usually given questions such as Do you use any of the following products? How many people are employed in your company? How many hours a week do you watch TV? And so on. If you don't fall in the right bracket once you answer the questions, you will be sent back to the queue to wait for another test to come your way. And this is how qualifications go on the user testing website. Out of a random 10 tests, I will usually qualify for one. A personal record is two tests in one day. Once you do qualify for a test, the possibilities of your test are to be a tree test, website test, phone test, or a live conversation. Your first tests probably will not be a phone test, so a website test and a tree test are your most likely outcome. You have to do this test very good, otherwise you will not be accepted into further participating in the user testing tests. My tips for the first test are, Speak very clearly. Say everything that is on your mind. Make sure you test your microphone quality before. Make sure your microphone is loud and clear and take your time. This first test you do will 100% be moderated by an admin. They'll go through your video and look for any mistake to either fail or scale you down for. This process of waiting may take very long because for me, it took absolute ages. I had to wait over seven or eight weeks to be reviewed only to be blocked again when my microphone wasn't loud enough, leading to another four weeks of waiting for my new audio test to be approved. This was a big downscale of my opinion for the website, but being paid 10 US dollars here in Australia for doing my first test made me persistent in waiting to be approved and earning more. My first test went down something like this. I was instructed to download a user testing screen recorder and that was pretty easy to learn and straightforward. After starting the test, I was brought to a website and I can't say which one because you're not meant to reveal any information about your tests since sometimes they may be about upcoming unreleased products and so on. This was a website about a space agency and I was tasked with looking for information about when they were open, what part is under renovation and finding a map of the place and more questions like that. It only took me about 12 minutes to complete this test and after weeks of waiting in one part of my review it said Please note that most tests are not this short. A typical test should take you around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. This is why I'm telling you now, when doing your first test or any test, you must speak as much as possible and drag on as much as possible and answer every question in detail. After completing my test, I was paid $10 into my PayPal account exactly 7 days after completion, to the minute. After weeks of waiting and getting my audio approved, I was finally ready to settle in and go on a hard grind on this website for that online bag and soon it was really working. I was getting quite a few tests a day and usually qualifying for at least one. I noticed that I usually qualified for tests that came to me from 8 to 10 a.m. because later in the day I got fewer and fewer tests. 
doing one test per day, you can get 70 US dollars, which for me is 109 Australian dollars at the time of making this video, which believe it or not, is just some $9 over the standard pay my friends receive working part-time in actual shops while I sit at home in my air-conditioned room drinking coffee and only spending 10 to 15 minutes a day working. User testing will definitely not make you rich. It's not a full-time job. But it can earn you a serious side hustle and you can very easily pass the $1,000 mark a year if you sp stick to my tips on making your videos and being persistent with qualifying. The hardest part of this money making website is qualifying. It's super hard to qualify for tests because they really just want specific people for each test. So if you're the lucky one, you'll earn more. If you're unlucky, you'll earn less. So far, I've done 11 tests equaling out to 110 US dollars or 171 Australian dollars. One day, I managed to do two tests, so doing more than one is definitely possible. Here are some numbers for you if you plan on starting this out in US dollars since the website pays in US. One test per day equals out to 3,650 US dollars a year. Two tests per day equal out to 7,300. Five tests per day equal out to 18,250 US dollars a year. Well, there you have it. That is my review of the user testing website. Overall, this website is far better than any survey website on the internet, but it comes with its own limitations. In my books, I would give it a very deserving 7.5 out of 10 overall score. It's a great way to earn a significant amount of money for the time put in. It's fairly simple to understand, and if all this sounds appealing to you, you should definitely check it out. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and click the subscribe button for more content like this. See you in the next video. Talk to you then.